yeah, we got it going on, yeah, 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 we got it going on, yeah. Now it's just to see so you can see the difference of the before and after. And I'll let you know if they even need it to be changed. That's going to be okay, number of injectors, okay, flow time. These are high flow injectors or no? You know, you don't know? Sometimes I gotta bring this down. We'll come back to it if I have to. So prime. This is just to test it to see that they're all priming. You see they all have the same spray pattern. It's going at 60 PSI right now. And it's just pulsing. That was just to make sure they're okay. Now we're gonna do a leak test. That's just checking to see if they're leaking. You look on the side of the injectors, no leaks here, and no leaks coming down. Because what it's doing is holding the injector closed and it's putting the pressure in. And put a bunch of pressure to make sure even a high pressure yeah those are good so up to 90 pounds going onto those injectors are not going to open up that's good you want that now we're doing inductance this is to test the impedance on the injector you want them to be the same impedance because that's what the ecu is actually throwing it uses the impedance on the injectors to know the flow rate for it so you see down here that they're all matched. If you had one that had an impedance of maybe five, four, and the rest of them are 8.4, 8.3, that the fluctuation by 0.4 isn't that much. That's okay. It's acceptable. It's tolerable. So far, good. Yeah. I mean, all the impedance there is good. They're all even. They're all about 7.9 to 8.3, 7.7. This one dips a little lower, or whatnot. But so does this one, and this one will dip lower. I mean, they fluctuate. That's fine. So your impedance is good. Now we do a flow at 1600 RPM. See, this is one I didn't want. I'm going to do it up there one time so we can see the flow pattern. So they all have the same exact flow pattern. That's what you want. We want them all to be identical. We turn up the pressure, that changes the atomization. You see how that's spitting on the side goes? That's what you want. That's a high pressure though. Your pump will probably never give it 80 pounds at the injector. Operation is normally four bar. Right there is operation, it's 58 PSI. So that's where it'll operate out and I'll get you your flows to make sure that they're all flowing at the same exact flow. So that's a big issue too. So now we bring it down here. And I hope they look like they flow pretty quick. I hope it won't fill up the beaker. So now we do the flow down here. Perfect. They don't even, I mean, your injectors are good. Man. I'm gonna do the ultrasonic for you. We'll see when it's done, where they level out at. If it'll make it, yeah, that'll make it to 30 seconds. When we take them out from back there sometimes it's all over the place. Some are way high, some are way low. I mean this one is a little lagging. This one too looks like it's lagging. Am I gonna make it? Yeah, I don't make it. That's that's tolerable dude. It's not gonna get much better than that. When I clean it, it'll clean them, but it's not gonna get this one will probably even out a little bit. But other than that, I've seen them one up here, one down here, one up here. I mean I've seen them all over the place. But that, those are pretty good. They're not doing bad at all. separated way more now. Before they weren't that separated. When they were shooting, remember how it was spitting back up a lot? That's because it was going straight down. But in reality, what that does is spits on the walls of the cylinder. And from hitting the walls of the cylinder, it dissipates all the fuel. Right now, it's working way better than they were before, as far as the flow pattern. Now we'll see now the flow rate, it should be all the same. Look at that. 
That doesn't get any better than that.